You know, I'm still curious what he was exactly dreaming. We already knew it, though. Yeah, but given everything has changed somewhat drastically, we don't know what he was dreaming entirely this time. I can't remember any of it. I it was scary, that I can say. What time is it, anyway? It's four in the afternoon. Oh, all right. I look at my watch. Sure enough, it's almost 5 p.m. Sayori is watching her favorite cooking show, which airs only specifically on Sunday. Of course, I love the show, too, and that's where I usually learn how to cook certain dishes. Hey, Sayori. Yeah? How about we make dinner together? Since it's almost time for dinner anyway. Want to stay here and make dinner with me? Sure thing, Emily. All right, then let's go. We both went to the kitchen. Of course, I had to turn the TV off. I'll meet you in the kitchen, Sayori. I have to do... Yeah, I have to do change my shirt upstairs. Okay. Sayori trots away towards the kitchen, and I go up my bedroom. Not up to my bedroom. Up my bedroom. I went in my room and changed shirts. So, you had the same dream last time, yeah? Uh, I don't know why... Wait a minute. Brave! Yeah? You're back? What happened? Where were you? Yeah, we went through this before. You think I was gone for two and a half days and, or when we were just talking when we were just talking a few minutes ago. This already happened before? Yeah. And you had the same dream with someone saying Doc, yeah? I did hear that, yeah. But but what? Erica was in that dream too. What? Erica was in the dream. She also mentioned Kurumi was also there. Oh my. What? Smart? This is different. Is there something bothering you? Guys, what's going on? This never happened before. You think? Hallie, we're going to talk something out first. We'll be away for the time being. What? There's some new strange works going on right now. Normally we would have been okay with this stuff going on before. But Erica and Kurumi in your dream? That's an entire new different story. And? All of us different versions need to talk it out. No one left behind here. So we'll be gone for a number of days. But there are millions of you. You gone for a number of days. Hearing that idea, I feel an amount of peace and quiet without them around. Hallie, this is no joking matter. Just because things changed unexpectedly doesn't mean you're not involved in on this. Oh, sorry. I was kind of glad you guys were going to leave a bit. Helps me enjoy some time with Sayori. Okay, Hallie, that's fine. We'll be gone from here on out. Uh, when we're away, there'll be a point in your life where you'll have to make the, your choices on your own now. Depending on how things here will really go, I'd say you'd have to think your choices right. We haven't really made any, like, significant choices at any point in this. Otherwise, there's no going back to undo mistakes. That's a disadvantage while we're away. We can't control your decisions, so you'll have to rely on your guts from here on out. Don't worry, guys. I'll manage. Well, then, take care. You guys, too. All right, so is that implying that... There would have been choices before this point, and they were making the choices automatically to avoid bad outcomes. Is that the implication? Hallie, take care of Sayori, all right? Don't forget to take care of Natsuki, too, all right? And Monica, too, don't forget that. I won't, I won't. I'll take care of them, guys. Don't you worry. Hey, aren't you worried about Yuri at all? With that, I suddenly felt that something le left my body. Guys, you still there? No response. I guess they're gone. Hallie! What's taking you so long? Don't mind me. Schizophrenia moment. Oh, Sayori, I was about to come down. I was starting to wonder how long you were going to stay up here. Don't worry. Let's go down and make dinner together now, okay? Okay. We both went back together to the kitchen. We planned what we were going to cook together. Of course, we had a dinner menu planned out together. My idea to cook was moon dumplings bamboo, rice, and grilled fish. Sayori, of course, wanted buckwheat chips, truffle rice, and sashimi. Of course, I decided I was going to cook. Oh my god. We got, we got to make choices. We got to cook with Sayori once. Of course, this is our day together, and I'm doing things that can make Sayori happy. I glance at Sayori, who seems to be really happy with what my decision was. I'm really glad that I chose this menu that she wanted. We started cooking the meal. After a few hours of cooking, we eventually made our meal together. Sayori seems proud of herself for learning how to cook. Yeah, the impossible had happened. Sayori learned to cook something without burning the kitchen down. Well, what do you know, Sayori? You learned how to cook new meals today. I'm having to thank you for that, Hallie. Now I won't have to eat instant food like you every day. Eh. 
stopped eating instant ramen a few days ago, so might as well make you stop the same thing as well. Uh, yeah. Well, what are we waiting for? Let's eat! Okay! We both ate together the meals we made. We had a good time the entire afternoon up until it was starting to get dark outside. A little more later, Siori's mom then texts her to come home then. Oh, I think my mom's calling me, Ellie. Yeah, did you enjoy your day today, Sayori? I sure did, Ellie. Let's talk more like this next weekend. Sure thing, Sayori. Come on, let's go. I'll walk with you outside. I accompany Sayori outside the house and towards her own house at her gate. Well, here we are. Thanks for taking me home, Ellie. Ah, uh, it was nothing, Sayori. Taking you back home was the least I could do to make sure you get back home safely. <laughs> well, this is where we part ways. Goodbye. I'll see you tomorrow, Ellie. Yeah, you too, Sayori. And come to school early tomorrow, all right? <laughs> yeah, I won't be late again. Well, good night. I'll see you tomorrow. See you again, Ellie. Sayori goes in her house. She waves one final goodbye at me, and I do the same. I then start my walk back home and went in the house. I quickly clean up the mess we both did in the living room, and of course the kitchen. After cleaning up the living room, I cleaned the utensils we used in our dinner. After cleaning, I went up my room, took a quick shower, changed into my pajamas, and hopped on to bed. Uh, I lay down on my bed for a couple minutes. I still couldn't point out why I forgot mostly of the day after my dream earlier. I couldn't really believe that, and of course that weird dream I had. How did I forget that dream oh so easily? I read a study that, or no, I read a study that you forget dreams slowly after you wake up from one. But this wasn't like that. I forgot the dream after I woke up. My mind keeps circling the entire thing until I dozed the night off. But you did remember some parts of the dream, guy. Yeah, whatever. What's the damage report outside? So far, the special quake has done terrible or tolerable damage to our facilities. There's only two people who are capable of creating special quakes that haunt Mio, Tuck, and Mia. It's either Efreet the Flame Spirit or Nightmare the Time Spirit. <sighs> Reports of Agent Satoshi, Hasashi, and Agent Johan Yapuchino confer- For the Nine Divides sake, Andrews, use their code names. Wow. Agents T30 and Y16 have confirmed for confirmations that's Nightmare of the Time Spirit. Wonderful. What was Kurumi doing there? Or here? Japan's a really long way off the beaten path. Unclear, Agent T30 stated in his report that, as quoted by the Time Spirit herself, here on business with someone. Here on business in our world. That's all reports about her from T30, say. And with Y16. Same report, sir. <laughs> Here on, here on business, my ass. Those fools should know their places. That's... Uh, sir, there's more. More? And the test subject regrets escape to the dome. What? He escaped. I heard you the first time, Andrews. How was he able to escape? It seems your brother's uh, uh, wife's avatar helped him escape. Damn that girl. I should have known that bitch would side with him. I'm an idiot for thinking she'd even want to side with me even after everything my brother did. Looks like whatever Tokisaki did was some form of diversion for my brother's wife to sneak in and get our test subject out. Have a fe I have a feeling that won't be the last we've seen of her. What do you propose we do with that time spirit because she comes back, sir? Do we still have that contact slip from the, with that Westcott fellow we met in London? I think so, sir. Contact him. I need one of his best people for the job. Assuming he's still willing to negotiate for that partnership he wanted. And, and what about the Helium Clone series? What about them? They've completely come to the uh, pathogen, sir. They're just running rampant across the test chamber. Uh, inform Captain Abraham Fritz to terminate them. Permanently. He'd most likely want to kill them off, considering he's on a wonderful 622 kill streak with the crazed Ryu clones ever since his son Samuel had died from one of their hands. Uh, okay, okay, sir. It's just gonna keep happening, isn't it? They're just gonna keep throwing all this random stuff at us that we have no context for, 
and expect us to... I, just, I don't get it, man. I just don't... My alarm goes off. I reach over to the desk and turn it off. 5.40 a.m. Still early. I stand up and make my way towards the bathroom. I take a soothing shower. After that, I went back to my bedroom and changed to my uniform. I then start to prepare cooking my breakfast. I cooked buckwheat noodles because they go good with the buckwheat chips Siori and I made together. I and I'm planning to bring some for her in lunch. Just need to make sure there's enough for the both of us. I stop for a minute to think. Natsuki. I then thought about what she said on Saturday. My father rarely beats me at home. I sucked up the nerve to try and report him to the police for the abuse he did on her own daughter. However, I was so distracted with my thoughts, the noodles I was cooking started to get softer. God damn it. Fortunately, I barely just overcooked it. Redeemed was right. I really need to control my temper. I wonder why he said that to me. I'll just have to think it over how to help Natsuki out. However, I do have an idea how to help her out at school. I get some more ingredients in the fridge. I look at the time and it's 30 minutes before 7. I still got time. I then immediately start making a full meal for Natsuki, which is made out of the same ones me and Redeemed made last Saturday. Stir fry, chirashi sushi, moon dumplings, and of course I added my own buckwheat tempura noodles in the mix. After cooking, I patted myself at my own success. Maybe I should get a job as a cook. Heard there's going to be a new season of Master Chef soon. I'm a bit of a fan of, or to Gordon Ramsay and his cooking. Nah, I immediately packed the food. I pa or, yeah, I packed the buckwheat noodles and chips into separate containers for me and Sayori. Then I packed the food I made for Natsuki into separate containers. I put all the packed meals into my bag and left my home. It sounds like I have a large luggage as a bag, but it's not. Don't ask either. After looking the door, I am sorry, locking the door. I immediately go out the streets on my way to school. I meet up with Sayori, who seems to have catched up to me. Ha! <sighs> Good thing I catched up with you! Caught. And I was wondering you were going to be late again. Well, I was waiting for you, but you suddenly rushed out of your house without any warning! Oh, I didn't know you were waiting for me. Anyway, let's go! We're going to be late! Let's go, Hallie! We rushed towards school and arrived just outside the gate. We were about to get closed by the gate guards if we were a minute more late. Good thing he let us in before the gate closed. Or was it, did it say got closed? Yeah, the gate got closed. At this rate, if Siori keeps getting late more often, we'll be locked out of school. Oh, you can hop that gate. Look how short it is. But seeing her come with me to school before getting late, it seems it's all worth it. I clicked out. Classes were dull today, but the teacher finally has some news about the festival. One of the segments is a music contest. Maybe I should join that contest? I really haven't won anything from contests before. Makes me wonder why I always lose in every contest that I joined. But already having inspiration, I decided that I'm going to join the contest. However, I have to keep it a secret to the others first before I officially join it. I want to keep it a secret so everyone will be surprised that I'm going to join one. And hoping win it. And of course, not get embarrassed. No, auto ending. Such a long box. After the morning sessions, I just sat down on my desk. We were dismissed a little early, so I'm pretty sure Siori's still... My vision suddenly goes completely black. What's going on? As confused as I may sound, I could feel someone's hands cover my eyes. Guess who? Of course, I could already tell who it was. Sayori? Huh? That's not fair! Sayori whines as she removes her hands from on my head. Too predictable, Sayori. Huh? How do you know it was me? Lucky guess. You liar! You knew it was me the whole time! Well, you did caught me off guard that time, so it's just a lucky guess for me. Why stay there? Blue is chuckling besides Sayori. Oh, Hallie! I want you to be a friend of mine. Blue, this is Hallie. Hallie, this is Blue. Hey, Blue, nice to meet you again. Hey, Hallie, nice seeing you again as well. Yeah, you both know each other already. Yeah, we already met several times before. Come to think of it, what are you two doing here? I don't exactly recall either both of you being my classmates in the class either earlier. Oh, yeah, I forgot. 
Why don't we eat lunch together with us, Hooey? Oh, right, of course. Yeah, I almost forgot. Hmm. Forgot what? I made lunch before I went out of the house. I grabbed my bag I placed under my desk. Come on, you two, let's go! Go where? Just follow me. The three of us went out the classroom and went straight to the rooftop. Howie? Yeah? Why here? Well, the rooftop's the best place during lunch breaks. Not a lot of people, serene environment. And a good view of the areas around us as well. It's actually not bad up here. The gentle breeze up here reminds me of the courts or countryside of Fatirana. And a few other places too. Iberia, Rimbilitan, Siesta. Blue trails out as she continues talking. Trails off. Also, I'm really hoping Natsuki would join us as well. Natsuki? Yeah. I haven't seen Natsuki today. You haven't? Yeah. Same. The well, three of us are actually classmates on some subjects this morning, and she seems to be absent today in all of them. Mm hmm. I haven't seen her at all, Hilly. I hope she's okay, though. Natsuki absent? That's weird. Hold on, let me try to text her. Maybe you shouldn't right now, Hilly. After all, we're here already. Don't worry, Sayori, I'll just text her for a quick moment. Okay. I wasn't paying attention to Sayori, I was more focused on Natsuki at this point. I texted where she was right now. A few minutes passed and no response. That's strange of her. Usually she responds faster and after I text her a message. I could just call her. Maybe she has something to do right now. That's what I did. I somehow built up the courage to call her. No one seems to be picking up. Huh. I tried calling her a few more times again to see if she'd answer eventually. Yeah, I guess that will do it. But now I called her answer completely. I then decide to just leave her a message that I'm at the school rooftop along with Blue and Sayori. After sending her the message, I then turned my attention to Sayori, who seems to be in a sudden mood change. Sayori? 